data, get data from file, from folder. And we wait a little bit and it will ask me, okay, which folder the sales reports are in here. So this is the path I want. So control C, escape, and then just come here, control V and paste the folder there. That's, that's the folder where I have things now. We don't need to click browse, just go okay. And now we will get a list of the files in that folder. If we wanted to combine the information from all the files, from here we would go combine and transform data. But that's not what we want. We want to first pick only the most recent file. And how can we tell Excel who, which file is it? We have at the moment information about each one of the files. We have the name, extension of the file, date, date modifier, date created, attributes, and then the folder, folder path. Okay. Usually I would go by the date created, but because these files were all put here at the same time, for the purpose of this demonstration, you can see that the date created is exactly the same for all the files. On a real uh, situation, the date created will be different because you have one file being created every month. Working with the date created instead of the date accessed or the date modified gives us better guarantee that we will be looking at the correct file. Sometimes people go uh, take a peek into the information, they open the file, and sometimes they save the file. They didn't do anything with it, or sometimes they even did it. But anyways, they change the date modified or the date access. So it should we should be working with the date created, okay? But today, I'll be working with the date modified column because that's where I see the different, and we see it's in ascending order. So January was created first and then February, March and so forth. Okay, so here, instead of going there, I'm going to click transform data. And um, Power Query opened on my other screen. Let me bring this over here. Let me maybe put this up to full screen and now this is Power Query Editor. And here on the right, I have the name of my query. At the moment, it's called Sales Reports because Excel uh, Power Query automatically named it after the folder. So I, I'm pointing this to the folder Sales Reports. We can change the name, we can click there and maybe we can say Sales Reports Data, okay? And here is where all the steps that I do with Power Query will be recorded. At the moment, only one step, the step source, that uh, it's the step where I said um, the source is in that folder and that's it. Okay, so going back, remember, we want to extract only the data from the most recent file, okay? So if we want to do that, what we are going to do is we are going to click here in the date modified column. And again, in the real world, I would use the date created instead. And I'm going to say sort descending. So from the biggest date and time to the smallest. You see that it puts the March file, which is the one that, that I want. It's the most recent one at the top. So now what I'm going to say is, okay, so from now, let's go to the home tab and here keep rows. And then here we keep rows, keep the top rows. And then it will ask me how many top rows. I just want the first one and click okay. So now this step guarantees me that I only have one file being selected. Okay, from here, I don't need any of this information to the right. And the only thing I need to do, to do is to come here to this column content and click this little button here to extract the data. 